Good morning, guys. How are you? As you can tell, it's gotten a little cold, but um, I'm going to start out with uh, asking you guys to please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell so you get an alert every time I, uh, I post a video. And then uh, lastly, there's going to be two items down in the description. Uh, one is a an app called Get Upside. That app allows you to take your fuel receipts and get a return of anywhere between usually three cents and 15 cents on the first 20 gallons. It doesn't sound like much, but for me, I get to usually, I'd say once a quarter, have them send me a check for $100. And then uh, the other one is, obviously you guys know I invest a lot. It's gonna be my investment app, Robinhood. If you want one free stock, go ahead and click that. Neither of these guys are sponsors. I just think they're awesome apps, and I wanted to bring them to you guys because I use them all the time. Both of them I've been using for over a year now. But, all right, so before we get into this, this is a load of trucks. I got six F-150s on, and my arm is getting tired, so I'm going to try to switch here. So, uh, I got six F-150s on. These... I don't know why, but I have always, always, always had a lot of trouble with this trailer loading trucks. Um, all my other trailers I've ever used, I could put six F-150s on, have it down to height, not even be close on anything. This trailer, for some odd reason, I struggle with. And I'll show you where I have and what I'm doing and if you guys know any better leave it in the description give me some tips because I could use a little help um, I think I have it almost down I have one last thing I'm gonna try differently next time and I think that that will make me come down to height much easier than I've been so here's the load I'll show it to you guys now all right so here's the load of trucks. Um, obviously this one is just your normal. Drop it in the drop pockets onto the ramp behind the deck. This one, this one comes down to height nice and easy. You just more or less tilt it down, slide it in as far as you can get it. Um, that one seems to work pretty easily. This one right here is the vehicle I have trouble with. And I'll show it I'll show why in a minute here but same thing the normal drive in I got plenty of room down here I probably could have gone forward just a little bit more but that uh, I got plenty of turning room so I'm happy with that this one here up top this time I split deck it split decked it so I'm up my back tires are on that deck front tires are on this one the front deck, I think, is right, for me anyways, um, because I got plenty of room under here, and the two spots really got to worry about on these decks is where this comes down right here and where this comes down back here, but because I have it so far forward, it seemed to work out real well where I'm not close at all and uh, both of those spots that come down which were catching me before um, are not over the cab so they gave, gave me a couple extra inches there and then this deck here um, I have had it all the way in the very front and I wasn't able to get down to height but I think this next time putting it in the front is gonna gain me a couple more inches up there which will make life a hell of a lot easier. And reason I wasn't coming down to height is I was always, this front tire at the very, I'm trying to not unfocus that, at the very front of this deck, which put this deck right into the roof line of the truck underneath it. So I think now, by moving this forward, pretty much right to the hinge, right there if you can see it, where my finger is, um, that's gonna, from where the tire is now, you can see that's going to drop me another three, four inches, which I'm at height, so I'm fine. I'm just closer than I like to be on everything. I'm perfectly fine, but I just like a little bit more space. 
So what I'm gonna do is if I come down here and gain four inches, I could probably lift this up two pins, which is gonna gain me more space throughout this entire deck over that truck. And then obviously the last truck is the normal, onto the front of the deck and into the drop pockets. The, this truck is, well, I'm really close to it. Let me back up. This truck here might be 13 foot, 13 two. That ram right there is right at 13.6, which is right at where the antenna on this truck is. So I'm at the maximum height. And like I said, I, I'm at height. I just, I don't like running as close as these are. And every one of these loads I've pulled have been close like this, which is kind of a pain because I just, I don't like running that way. I like running knowing I got a lot of space and i don't know i i try not to damage anything which obviously we all do i just think uh some of us take more pride in that than others <laughs> but i don't know this is this is the load guys this is kind of a quick video i don't have a whole lot to say these uh i'm taking these down to alabama so i'm gonna get these delivered today and then I'm gonna get home for the weekend. This is Saturday morning. Um, and then at, once I get home, I'm gonna leave out Monday morning and probably do an Ohio load. But other than that, guys, this isn't uh, th this isn't a bad load. It's just a, I would say, a pain in the butt load. This could be easier. Now, something else you could do with this one and I think, which I really want to try, let me back up so you can see better. Hang on, walk away for a second. All right, on this one right here, I, I really want to get into an 80 footer. I don't care if it's an 80 footer, and, and really I don't care about the trailer. I want the 80 footer cab. Oh, I just, low power mode, hang on. Uh, I hope that didn't blank out on you guys. I want the 80 footer cab because my thought process is with the 80 footer, if I'm not mistaken, you get 18 extra inches of deck space in here. And then you gain another, it's like 12 or 18 inches of tongue back here, which if I can, that would be awesome because my thought process is I could go F-150 here, F-150 here, F-150 here. And whether you have a quick loader or a stacker like this, you can still do your four F-150s, which would give me seven. And I could make weight with the seven right now um, because I'm only like 72,000 pounds with this load on. This isn't, these are heavy, but because you're running so few of them, you actually tend to be a little bit light. Where I'm not, I'm not anywhere near my gross 80,000. So my thought process is I could pull on, pull on, back on, drop this flat into the bed of the truck underneath with these ramps dropped all the way down. This, I would obviously have to raise it up, forward, and drop the back way down like this over the tongue, I mean, over the hood of the other truck. And I'm pretty sure I could make height with that. And if I had that extra space, I'm not gonna be worrying about getting too close to the hood of this truck. So my thought is if I could get an 80 footer, I could probably do seven F-150s. So if anybody in a decision area is, is listening, um, send me an 80 footer. I don't even care about the trailer, I'll keep this trailer. Just, just send me, the 80 footer cab with the extra loading space behind the cab because that's why I'm in a day cab is everything is all about having the space to put as many on as possible which is something that I enjoy doing so guys I appreciate it here's that load one last time if you guys have any tips or tricks or anything that you see that I could do differently please leave it in the comments below because not only will it help me but it'll help anybody else um, that that's doing these same loads but guys, I appreciate it. I love all of you. 
I will see you on the next one. God bless, be safe out there, and let's go make some money. Bye.